Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Aquasport demonstration here at Sharp Electronics. I'm standing right here next to our PNL 703B model. This is the newest Aquasport model that we have out, uh, the B series and the A series. These are the two B series, uh, PNL 603B and PNL 703B. They are the 60 inch and 70 inch class aquas boards. This is the B model. Now there's a difference between the A model and the B model. The A model is, I'll just write A over here. The A model is more of a turnkey solution. So let's say you have a, an office, a conference room that has many people in and out of it every day. I'm actually standing in one of our conference rooms here at Sharp. There are a lot of people who come in and out of here all day. We also have the B model. This is the B model. It would require you to purchase a shuttle PC or you could mount your own PC to the Aquas board and it is a more customizable solution. The standard touch pen comes with the B models. The standard pen does pretty much just right on the board. You wouldn't have any special buttons, any special functions, but the tip definitely sounds like a marker. This is new to the Aquas board. As I'm writing here, it's very, very responsive. And it actually sounds like a black marker against a whiteboard. It's, it gives you that real tactile, authentic feel. So when you're up next to the board, you don't feel like you're touching glass. You feel like you're touching a board. Now the three button pen has different buttons that you can set to different commands, such as right mouse click, page up, page down, a link to pen software, and it helps you move through your document easily. Maybe you have a multi-page document up on the board. You can use it sort of as a pointer or a clicker or, or remote control, if you will, right? The three button pen is available with the A model and you may purchase it as an option for the B model. So what else can the three button pen do? Well, up to four of these can be registered to the Aquas board at one time. And each operator can write in different colors and do dif different operations up on the board. I took some screenshots here. If you had four different users, each user would have his or her own menu here to choose from. And as they're writing, if we just use this against the board, that menu would minimize. So these menus would only be up while somebody's writing. These are screenshots, so you know they're not disappearing, but they would normally disappear into a smaller icon here, which gives you a lot of real estate up on the board. So let's say you have four students that you want to come up to the board and do math problems at the same time, or if you're working in an office and you're brainstorming a big new idea for a marketing pitch, you want to come up to the, to the board and you want to write in different colors, you can, okay? This is an example of users using this three button pen, two three button pens in a classroom. They're working on a big map here. The professor is teaching his students or a teacher is teaching his students about this area of the world. He's writing in red and his student is writing in blue. Now, this board is not just multi-user. It's also multi-touch. If I take 10, all 10 fingers against the screen, I can write with all 10 touch points. So this increased sensitivity improves the accuracy of the board and gives me more freedom. It's very, very responsive. As you see, this line is very, very fluid and it followed me along perfectly. Now, what else about the Aquas board? Well, we have Touch Display Link. Touch Display Link is a software that we offer from Sharp and it lets you mirror what you're doing up here onto mobile devices such as a tablet, a smartphone, or laptop computer. What you can do is allow your, your users to view what you're, you're you're doing up on the Aquas board and you can also give them control of the screen. So as you're writing here, someone here could be writing up on the board. Now we do have a YouTube video of this, which I can show you 
just quickly how this works. So at this point, I, I could start writing on the board. With my so board. as he's writing here, you see that this tablet is mirroring what's being done up on the screen. So we just showed how you can recognize handwriting up on the screen and it's mirrored onto onto the screen here. So now he's switching the tablet to host to, ho to host mode and he can control the Aquas board from the tablet. You can also send pictures, you can send files up onto the screen. You can create notes just for yourself and no one else to see. You can... Uh, I'm just going to pause this video here, but there, there are many other things that you can do with Touch Display Link. It's a great collaborative software. How many people today enter a meeting or a classroom with some sort of electronic device. I remember I used to be a teacher, I used to teach high school English and all of my students pretty much had a cell phone with them and many of them would bring in maybe a, a tablet throughout the day. If you're not capturing their attention, what better way to get them to listen if they can see what you're doing on their device or if they can collaborate with you along with you. So if you're mapping up ideas, uh, you know, coming up with a story or coming up with um, math problems and answers to math problems, you can do that. And it helps for those students who sit very far away from you. So maybe you may not get their attention or even in a meeting, let's say you're in a large corporate setting and you want to gain the attention of the back row that might be sleeping that afternoon. You can do that with Touch Display Link. Now Touch Display Link, will be compatible with up to 50 mobile devices if you're using Windows 8 and up to 20 mobile devices if you're using Windows 7. The great thing about Touch Display Link is that it creates its own password and you can regulate this with your own IT structure at your school, at your business, at your uh, convention. You can control who has access to Touch Display Link and who doesn't. So it's a great solution, it's secure, and it lets you do so much with the Aquas board. We're gonna open up a new pen software file. As I mentioned before, there are a couple things that are new with pen software 3.0. We have a new menu here called the square menu, and this follows you across the screen. Now, if you want to, you can go back into your settings page here and switch to the classic menu that we had in previous versions of pen software. So you can still do that from this menu. We have a bottom bar, this is also new to Pen Software, and overlay mode is right here, so it's easily accessible. I'm gonna go into overlay mode first just to show you all how this works for those of you who have never seen Pen Software before. If I tap on this first icon, you see that I now see the screen directly beneath Pen Software. This works like a transparency. I can write on the screen using the pen, right? And I can then save this screen to my pages. Now, if I tap on the pages icon here, you'll see that you can see this page that I wrote on. You can't really see it because of the black and, and blue over here, but if I tap on this icon, you see that I can show captured desktop image in background. This captures a screenshot of my work right here. And if I want to, I can open up another page by just tapping this icon right next to it. So, Pen Software lets you save multiple pages. So if you're working with many different documents beneath your screen that you don't want to import into uh, Pen Software 3.0 into whiteboard mode, because that's where we were with the big white screen. Uh, this is whiteboard mode right here. So if you want to work in overlay mode, let's say you're working on websites, let's say you're working with um, videos and you want to stop them at a certain point and you, you don't want to import 
you know, a screenshot into Pen Software. You can do that here. You can do that all from this overlay mode, okay? And when you're finished, you can send all your work here. You could save these and send them to your team. You can send them as a PDF or you can send them as an image file or you can mail it directly from Pen Software. So we have an email feature now that lets you do that. So we have our first page here right, was just the background with some writing on it. But let's do a real case scenario. If I'm in my, if we just minimize this here, if we go under Sharp and we open up our overlay mode, just using the same pen, I'm not going to get fancy. I'll show you, I can use my finger. I can make a circle here, some annotations, some notes, right? I can again go into my settings here under pages, capture that background, and here it is. Here's my first page, and here's my second page. Look how quickly I can go into my square menu, find my save button, find save as PDF, tap my documents, okay, let's use the, the preset name, and there we go. Now I'll go into my documents, And here's my PDF. So you see I'm operating all of every action that I do in pen, in pen software or in on the Aquas board with my finger. I don't even need a touch pen. And here I can make this larger. And you can see the first page and the second page of our notes here. Now let's go back into pen software and just look at the basic settings that we have in our menu. We have down here these icons. This is a push pin button that lets you pin your bar to your screen or it will hide if you unpin it. This pages icon lets you view all of your pages in one place. So if you tap it once more, you'll see them all here. So if you're working with 30 pages or 50 pages, you can see them all in one place. You have a settings icon here where you can access the, your settings very quickly. We'll actually put dual touch gesture on so I could show you some of the zoom in features we have with the Aquas board. We have a search function that lets you search for both handwritten and written words on the screen, which we'll test in a little bit. I'll show you how that works. We have these button he buttons here that let you move forward and backward. This plus sign button means I want to open up a new page. Now I've got two pages here. We have this button, as I explained, is our overlay mode. So that's a little preview of overlay mode and what we're working on here. And here are just standard buttons. So minimize, restore, expand, and exit. Now we have three different pens here, which you can preset to different colors and different styles before you begin working on your screen. So if we tap on pen one, now I'm going to start using the, the standard touch pen that comes with the, pe uh, the B model. These different tips here let me write in different styles. So I have a pen, a brush, a marker, a figure pen. Now the pen is best for writing, so if you'll be using the Aquas board mainly for writing up on the screen, then the pen is really the one that you'll be using the most. We have a brush feature that varies in thickness depending upon how much pressure you apply with the three button pen. So that's more of a feature with the three button pen, but you can still use the brush with a regular pen or your finger. We have a marker tool which acts like a highlighter, which I'll show you how that works in a little bit. And then we have the figure pen. Now the figure pen is, is very exciting because what it does, and I'll use that first, is if I choose, let's say, a width of two in the color blue, is if you draw a shape, let's say a triangle, it will recognize that shape and turn it into a perfected shape. Now I can select this shape with my selection tool here, and I can rotate it, rotate it up here using this little circle or, or with my finger here. I can expand it can move it across my screen. Or I can use this 
a toolbar up here to cut, copy, duplicate. Look how quickly that happens. I can delete, rotate, so I can rotate from here. Let's say we want to rotate it left. So there we go, we rotated it left. And you can change the order and the properties of this shape. So you drew it, but you can say, hey, I want it to be purple. And there it is. You know, and you can even change the properties here to make it translucent. And if you duplicate it now, you'll see that the more times you duplicate, the color will build and you'll see a more vivid purple up on the screen. So drawing shapes is very easy. You can even use our preset drawing object tool and draw preset shapes. I can take these settings here and draw one very quickly up on the board. Some other options we have within the drawing object tools is that you'll see that there are different line widths to choose from, different line styles, different colors. We also have custom colors here. So this is our custom color, this purple, but if I move it across the screen, you'll see that I can create different shades of yellow, shades of blue. It's very, very customizable. And over here, before I exit out of that, down here we have fill colors. So you can choose specific fill colors too. You can make a very custom, you know, shade of orange here and a shade of yellow, and you can make your shape translucent. So there's a lot that you can do here. Here's our new shape. Okay, but you may be asking me, Barbara, this is, is this really practical? How am I going to use this in my classroom? How am I going to use this in my office? We're not gonna be sitting around drawing shapes or drawing pictures, right? Well, if I open up a new page, you'll see that Pen Software can do a lot. I can insert an image here. I'm on the second page of Pen Software and I can insert an image from an existing file. I have some construction files here of a uh, blueprint for a home. Now if I'm using the view tool, I can pinch in and really move it across the screen. So imagine that you're looking at a long document or you're looking at something like a blueprint or you know, uh, the manual of a machine. You can zoom in, you can really teach people about it from the Aquas board. And it definitely has a fun factor. I'm having fun pushing it across the board. If someone's sitting in the back and they can't see, you can use this feature to zoom in. You can also zoom out very quickly and move the screen across. We also have a zoom to selection tool. If you go into all functions, we have a zoom to selection tool where you can zoom into a certain part of the screen and it'll show up in a box like that. What you can do with the figure pen, back here in the figure pen, we're gonna take a red color and a width of one here. You could draw a shape around the master bedroom and now this is a perfected shape. This is where you would be using shapes in your everyday work here. If, if we're meeting a group of uh, architects and then some of our construction team, we could tell them, hey, you know what? We want changes in the master bedroom, in the bedroom. Let's see if that, okay, that was <laughs> even faster than I thought, okay? In the hall. And then you can quickly switch to pen two, which will set to a, just a regular pen, also in red. We're gonna turn smoothing off. We can say, hey, we want changes here. Annotate that. And then we have plans. And let's say we didn't like the way this was written. What we can do is go under the selection tool in the rectangular selection tool, select that word, right? Only that word. And this toolbar here lets me convert this to text. I can cut, copy, duplicate, delete. I can move it across the screen with my finger. Could move it here if I want, move it here where there's a more, more of a white space or back here. 
I can change the properties of this. So I could change the line color, let's make it green, why not? And then I can say, hey, let's convert it to text. And if I select it again, I could send it to a web search. I can send it to Google or Wikipedia. So you can do a lot from the screen. Now I mentioned a little bit about the marker here, that it works sort of like a highlighter, right? So if we use the marker tool in yellow, as you see here, translucent and smoothing have been turned on automatically. Let's zoom in using the view tool on this part of the screen, we wanted to, let's say we wanna highlight seam roof, standing seam roof. I can go into the pen tool. I have that marker selected in a width of two. If I wanna do an even thinner line, I can make it even thinner here. You see, we can have a custom line that thin in yellow. What the highlighter does, the marker tool, is that it automatically smooths out a line. So even if you're crooked, it will smooth your line out up on the screen. So if I'm a teacher, if I'm a director of a company and I'm talking about this document here, I can quickly move in and out. I can make all of my annotations. Everyone in the room could be following along on their own device using touch display link or we present and they can annotate as well and if they don't like what i do i can take my whole pen a uh, whole palm against the screen and just erase it but it won't erase the shapes that i drew i actually say that the view tool when i talk to uh, clients it is really the best tool for presentations like if you have a group of people coming up to the board at different times and you don't want them to accidentally write something or erase something up on the board, your view tool uh, over here is the best one to choose while they're up here talking so they won't, you know, change anything that you have up on the board unless if you want them to change something, right? Sometimes we want people to come up and to, to make changes or to maybe make annotations while they're presenting a PowerPoint maybe, right? So actually, let's take a segue into PowerPoint. We'll play this from the beginning. Now, if you notice here, this toolbar appears as I'm next to the screen with my three button pen. I can use this toolbar to move ahead in the presentation or to move back. So yeah, I can move it across the screen if it's in my way. I can use the pen here just by tapping and moving along. But I can also, if I go back to the very beginning, or I could be anywhere in the presentation, I can use a pen. So this pen here comes in different colors. We're going to use red. You'll see that as I'm presenting this to maybe my team and we're talking about product marketing and our social media strategy, maybe it needs a, some sprucing up. I can go ahead and say, hey, let's talk about our product. Let's talk about social media. And then uh, what can we do to improve our social media presence to make our brand known, right? And then I can move forward in my presentation here. I can switch back to the little mouse mode. So this could be as a mouse. And then I can go back here and say, hey, I want to talk about competitive differentiation or um, the product at its very core, right? And then if I want to, I can switch into pen software, open up a new page here, and write notes about this product. Okay, and then switch back. So as you're presenting, you can use the three button pen to move forward in your presentation here and then switch back. Hey, we have more notes. We wanna do that straight from here and then switch back. So at the end of this presentation, what you can do is, you can tap on this little icon here, you can keep your ink annotations. And now if we go back to our first slide here, you'll see that all my annotations are here. I can save them and send them to my team. I can save them for my own notes. So if I have multiple people coming up to the screen or if I have people operating uh, the screen from their, uh, from their 
tablet or a smartphone, they can then leave all of this up here for me to save and use later. Some of the things that you can do with pen software, as I mentioned before, is to search for words within your presentation. So if on page four, we write the word four, now let's just use the three button pen since I already have my settings set up here, okay? So if I write, or let's say the word sharp, right? If I write the word sharp on page four and then I go back, onto another page and, and I don't remember where I wrote sharp. I can go in here into my little search tool and write sharp either by typing it out here or writing it out here. So sharp. It will recognize my handwriting, insert it down here and I can search for that and it will take me to that word. This is new, we've never had this before. I, I get excited about this feature. <laughs> One, because I love technology and I love telling people about it, but really it is convenient. It will tell you where you are within your work. If you have many, many pages up on the board, which we normally do and during a big meeting if we have a lot of ideas, it really helps you circle back to where that idea originated. And it will find typed words as well. So if I wanted to find plans from another page, And there we go, we found that word and it's highlighted right there. Just a couple of other things that you can do. If, I, if I'm drawing like different things on the screen and if I'm, you know, drawing a circle here and then, you know, another shape over here, I have an undo and redo button that can remember up to 50 different actions up on the board. The eraser tool lets me erase lines that I drew, but after I draw a shape, it won't erase that. So only the things that are hand drawn. But the great thing is, is even if, like I said, even if I've done that by mistake, I can just tap undo, undo, okay? Some other things that are pretty neat is you can take your selection tool and take the lasso selection tool and only select two shapes here, right? and then you can move them across the screen. You can also select the, uh, the lines that you drew here, and you can choose to group and ungroup them. So if we group them together, I can now select them with the touch selector as one, you see? And they would resize together and move across the screen. Uh, we can also change their order. We can bring to front, send to back, bring forward, send backward. Or I can choose to rotate them together up here. See, now we can flip them over. You can paste, copy paste. You can open from uh, on the fly. You have a text tool, so if you want to type directly onto the board, you can. You can choose different fonts and text colors here. Uh, different sizes, uh, fill colors, and as I mentioned before, you can pick custom colors here. You can insert an image. So we inserted an image from a file, but you can also take a screenshot from a file. You can also print a file directly from your computer into Pen Software, sort of as a, uh, you know, print to into a program. So you can print a PowerPoint presentation into pen software, into whiteboard mode, and use it to annotate inside of the presentation, inside of, of whiteboard mode. So you could have multiple pages of a PowerPoint, or you can open up, let's say, a, um, a case study. This is a, just a PDF here that I, I also just, uh, it's a fictional story. So I can send it to print right? And send print data to Sharp Pen Software. Now, if I tap on print, I can go back into Pen Software, open up a new page here, and you'll see that my data has been received. Now, if I tap on that, here's my page. And some other fun features that we have with Pen Software, if we go into our All Functions tool, here are all the different functions. So if you ever get lost and you don't know where an icon has gone to, you can go into All Functions and find them here. 
Now if you go down, we have a zoom in selection tool so you can zoom into a certain part of this screen and we can zoom in and find that part of your document. I can also trim this screen to just, let's say, one paragraph, right? Or just, let's say, this part here and tap OK. And now it's zoomed in a little bit more as well. Now some other things you can do is if you insert an image into Pen Software, if I'm just going into my documents and into my demo files here, if we had a picture of an MFP, right, you can also rotate, rotate this uh, image here. You can expand it easily. You can move it across your screen. You can uh, decrease its size. It's very, very responsive. I can duplicate it, move it to the side here as well. So you see that there are di many different things that you can do within Pen Software. You can also save your work, as I mentioned, to as a pen software file, as a PDF, as an image. We support JPEG, bitmap files, and um, bitmap, JPEG, and PNG files. We can also send by touch display link, which I explained earlier in the video. And I can also send by email. So if I had this set up, um, I can send by email directly from here as a PDF to my entire team. And I can have preset email addresses within Pen Software. So you wouldn't even need, let's say, an outside email source. You can input um, your own mail server within Pen Software to send it out to your teammates or to your classroom. Other things you can do, you can have external applications. So Let's actually make this part of our menu because I do have an external application here. So this is external applications. If I wanted to replace any part of my menu, this is Pen Software menu one and two, the, the square menu that we had up on the screen. If I want to replace something, all I have to do is drag and drop. And now if I'm in Pen Software on page two and I tap on external applications, I put in a link to the video that we have up on YouTube. So it takes me directly to this video and then I could pause it. So if, so if I'm in the middle of a presentation, I want to quickly go to a link. I want to quickly go into a website or go into an application or go into a software, let's say a Microsoft PowerPoint or uh, a spreadsheet software or a word processing, processing software, I can do that from here. That's just um, a brief overview of the Aquas Board and Pen Software 3.0. If you want to find more information, you are always free to go to our website here under Aquas Board and find uh, more Aquas Board products and more information about that. Or go to YouTube and check out some of our new videos here. We have a bunch of new training videos and um, there's Gary Baylor, one of our product planners. So you can also see our promotional videos here in English and Spanish for um, you know, any clients you may have or let's say you're a user and you want to send it to your entire team before you make a big decision. You can find more information here. So I do encourage you to find it. To make an oh, feel let's pause. <laughs> well, with that, have a wonderful day, the rest of your day. I hope that it's not too hot wherever you might be and I wish you the best of luck. I do hope you purchased the Aquas board. It's a wonderful product. Thank you.